sometimes we need to go beyond the single line text and make some paragraphs. In these times, uh, it's good to know that uh, AutoCAD has got a fully featured text editor inside it. Now, I've been working on this detail drawing, and now I want to add some text to it. I've already made a general note styles here and made a text uh, layer for those texts but my notes uh, is going to exceed uh, from single line so for that I'm going to use multi line text first of all let's zoom a little here and move to the right I'm going to go to the annotation panel and select the uh, multi line text and press and drag down and uh, click again to finish that. I made a box for my drawings to uh, be in that. Now I can draw more than one line or more than as many lines as we want. I'm going to write that this is multi line text we are already in text editor tab by default Notice we are in text editor tab by default here and we can make any kind of change uh, that we want and there's a ruler for us already we can uh, control the tab places here and if that ruler is uh, not on your screen or you don't see that it's probably turned off and you can turn it out right from here let's see a little from the tab or tab stops here I'm going to press my tab key and see how it works now uh, we can modify this tab key by just clicking and dragging that just right here and can put it anywhere we want here and we can uh, delete this uh, tab stop by just uh, clicking on it and dragging it out of the text editor here right uh, I should tell you that if you're familiar with the word processor uh, Microsoft Word processor uh, this is exactly like that and uh, this text editor in AutoCAD has lots of functions that there are in a Microsoft Word. The word you see here is uh, turned red. Uh, that's because my spell check is turned on. Uh, let's not worry about a spell check for right now. And uh, uh, let's take a look at these options here and the text editor tab. I'm going to uh, or do it by I'm going to click on highlight some of these text and uh, we can uh, make those bold or italicize that or underline it or if we select all of those by uh, I give you a shortcut by control and A you select all of those text inside the, uh, this text box here we can uh, left justify it or before that uh, let's back up this uh, tab to do that once more and or center this or right justify it or you can use all of these any one of those you want I'm going to center that for now we can uh, uh, 
control the size of this uh, text box here as well by just uh, dragging it here and to this side anyway and whenever we're finished uh, we can just go and close the text editor by this icon and close it I'm going to zoom out a little now we know how the multi-line text works I'm going to select and delete this text for now let's give this a uh, uh, drawing some real world text real world note and for that I'm going to zoom a little more and select the multi-line text here and we're going to click it right from here the first corner and take a look at my command line there's some sub options on this and one of those are the height I'm going to right click and hit the height sub option and give it a 0.15 and enter now I'm going to click right here and start uh, writing any kind of note I want Now we're done writing our text. Uh, we can make some final tweaks here. For example, we can adjust the text to match the size here, or select this headline here and underline it. Now we want to close this text editor we don't need to go and uh, click this uh, as long uh, as we click outside this text editor box uh, we can uh, you know AutoCAD closes automatically that you will find the uh, multi-line text or M text as it's called uh, first choice for using uh, to write multi-line text and uh, the text editor in uh, AutoCAD, uh, you'll find that as close as a professional uh, text editor, and it's, it's in still inside the AutoCAD.